Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. The judges score this contest 30-27, 30-26, and 30-26 for the winner by unanimous decision, Holly, the Preacher's Doctor! I'm here with the winner, Holly Holm. First of all, Holly, congratulations on a very, very impressive victory. You showed a completely new level of your game tonight with your wrestling and your control on the ground. Was that the game plan coming in here? The game plan is always open-ended. You know, I don't really know what, how it's going to go, so I just want to play it by, you know, round by round. Um, sometimes I've tried in my other fights, but maybe I wasn't feeling as confident in her takedowns, but, you know, it's about time I start trying them here. I do it in practice, and so... Uh, you know, I just felt good tonight. I thought, you know what? We fight for a reason. We don't ever know what's going to happen, so let's just try and make our own thing happen. Well, there was a lot of questions about Megan coming into here. We, she's a big, powerful woman, but there was questions how she would face, how she would fare against world-class competition. You answered those questions here tonight and proved once again that you're one of the very best women's MMA fighters on the planet. Thank you so much. You know, I, uh, I love you guys very much. Question, go ahead. Go ahead. The, the question, Holly, is, is this your division or is 135 your division? You don't have a hard time making 135. I don't, you know, I, it's one of those things like, my 135 pound belt, that's dear to me. I want it back, you know? It's like losing my pet or something. My heart hurts. <laughs> so I do want to go back to that, but I, I want to feel like, I challenge myself a lot, you know, in boxing I fought in three weight classes and when the 45 pound division opened, I mean, you have to take big risks to get great victories and like fighting someone like Cyborg at a heavier weight, you know, that was like a big thing that I thought, you know what, I want to do this, I don't do it just be part of it, I want to do it for the victory, and so I've just been taking challenges, but uh, 135 is really where I stay, you know, for the most part. What is more attractive to you, winning a belt at 145 and beating Cyborg, or going back down to 135 and reclaiming your belt? I think naturally, okay, I want both, I want it all. <laughs> but naturally, uh, <laughs> yeah, I do. Um, I think sometimes when you get a little attached to something, you might want that a little more. So I, the 135 pound belt kind of calls my name a little more because I had it and I lost it, you know, I want to get it back. But I just wanted to say, there's like so many ups and downs in life, and I don't really, I mean, I know everybody always talks about their team, and this is like boring for other people to hear, but this team right here, and then two are out here. Everybody that, I'm 36, I'll be 37, and you know, with some losses I've had recently, the common question is when are you gonna retire, and this team never does that. You know, they know I'm really wanting to be here. And, you know, Mike Winkle John's been with me. A lot of people have gone through a lot of different camps and training camps, and I've been with them since the beginning. And my team, this is for them. This is for my team. Well, Holly, thank you very much for an awesome fight. I can't wait to see you fight again. Holly Holm, ladies and gentlemen.